Proverbs chapter 27, written by King Solomon, king of Israel. Do not boast about tomorrow, since you do not know what today will bring forth. Let the other man praise you, but not your own mouth. A stranger, but not your lips. Heaviness of stone, weight of sand, heavier than both, annoyance or anger from a fool. Cruelty of wrath, surge or rise of anger, but jealousy, who can withstand that? Better open reproof or open disapproval than voiceless love. From one who loves, wounds are well intentioned. From one who hates, kisses are ominous or bad news. The gorged or greedy throat revolts or turns away at honey. The hungry throat finds all bitterness sweet. Like a bird that strays from its nest, so is the man who strays from where he belongs. Fragrant oil gladdens the heart. Friendship's sweetness comforts the soul. Do not abandon friend or father's friend. When trouble comes, do not go running to your brother's house. Better a friend near than a brother far away. Learn to be wise, my son, and gladden my heart that I may have an answer for the man who insults me. The discreet or wise man sees danger and takes shelter. The ignorant go forward and pay for it. Take the man's clothes. He has gone surety or borrower for a stranger. Seize him to the profit of persons unknown. He who at dawn loudly blesses his neighbor is accounted or considered to curse. The steady dripping of a gutter on a rainy day and a quarrelsome woman are alike. Whoever can restrain her can restrain the wind and with his right hand grasp oil. Iron is made the finer by iron. A man is refined or elevated by contact with his neighbor. He who tends the fig tree eats its figs. He who looks after his master shall be honored. As no two faces are ever alike, unlike two are the hearts of men. Shoal, the grave, and perdition hell are never satisfied, nor are the eyes of man ever satisfied. A crucible or a melting pot for silver, a furnace or a fire for gold, a man for testing the words of flatterers. Pound the fool in the mortar as you may, you will not separate him from his foolishness. Know your flock's condition well. Take good care of your herds. Since riches do not last forever, wealth is not handed down from age to age. The grass once gone, the aftergrowth appearing, the hay gathered in from the mountains, you should have lambs to clothe you, goats to pay for your fields, goats milk sufficient to feed you and to provide for you serving girls. Here yeah, ended the reading of Proverbs chapter 27 written by King Solomon. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah.